welcome back again um i know it's uh a bit difficult going back and forth bro okay let, we're going to do number two and number three together here on this particular video and it's going to be short so okay this is my the answer to this this we want to develop an algorithm that reads in three numbers and writes them all in sorted order so this thing, I think for you to be able to write a studio code or even, you know, to grasp a writing code, you have to understand what um, the question is all about, what the problem is all about. So here, you want to develop an algorithm that, um, okay, here you want to develop an algorithm that um, reads in three numbers and writes them all in sorted order. So here, I've already written it. I'm not going to um, try writing this one again. But all you know is that you have three numbers. You, you should have, they already stated that you have three numbers. So you should have three inputs, one, two, and three. It can be anything. And again, it can be anything here. You can use, you mustn't use num one, num two, num three. I'm just so used to using num one. And you know, that's why I, I keep using it. It's kind of a tad, you know, bit easy to use. So the most important thing here is sorted order. They want it to be in an order. You don't care if it's um ascending order or descending order or any any way anyhow. Just make sure that they are all arranged. So if you hear, of course, the first thing we have to do is to read our inputs, which is num one, num two, num three. Then um uh you can start. So we have three different. We have sorry one two three four five six we have three different um six different scenarios that can play out for us to have a sorted order let's use um sorry i'm going to just put for example one two and three are our inputs so having six uh having six of this we can have one two three we can have three two one um we can have three Two one, we can have um two one three. We can have um okay. Sorry, I don't know why I'm confusing you guys. Oh, it just simply means that one two three, um one three two, uh two one three, two three one, three one two and three two one. So these are the possible um combinations that we can get from this one two three four five six okay so if you if you look at this for it to be for, for it to be ordered for all these things i just wrote down now to be ordered you will see the conditions if number one is less than number two and number two is less than number three then please write number one two and three for us because if you look at it number one two and three with this condition is in order like it's in I think ascending order, yeah. So now, else if number one is less than number three, and number three is less than number two, then the order with which this thing should go without um looking distant is right number one, number three, and number two. Else if if number two is greater than so at the end of the day you realize that. Let's give um. Let's say. Okay, I don't want to go into this deeply, but the, the, the way you can understand this is assigning, probably assigning numbers to this. You can assign number one. Number one can be, number one, this, um, this number one, sorry, this number one, you can, you can make it equal to, uh, 10. Num two, num two, uh, num two can be equal to, Say eight. Then num three. Num three can be can even be fourteen. So if you put these numbers into this, then any condition that passes it, any condition that passes it, it would ever any time that these numbers are going to be displayed, they are, they must be displayed in order. For this one now, if you look at it, it's possible that because just by looking at it, we have two ways that this can be in order. Which is either eight, ten, and fourteen, or fourteen, ten, and eight. This is the order. This this can go. You can you can go below this because this is greater. This is greater. This is greater. So yeah, I think this is um 
I don't know if this makes sense, but please just let me know in the comment section so I can I would know I I would answer I, I would definitely answer your questions. Yeah. So this is this. Then for those of you looking for the for those of you looking for this to develop an algorithm um, to calculate a running sum, the periodic given exam will enter numbers that will be added to the sum, and when a negative number is encountered, stop adding numbers and write out the final results. Now on here, like I told you, when you go, I've not I've not done it, so let's do it together. Um, when you go to these small practice examples, you see this document, and this document, um, it's it's been done already. I think right, you could uh, calculate a running sum exactly. So I think it's the last, the last, um, the last, the last one done. This is it. So the CDO code is it's as simple as this. So for us to be able to be, for us to be able to write CDO codes, we have to fully understand the questions. And first, whenever you write CDO code, first things first, you have to read whatever it is that you want to impute, so that, um, you know. So if you read this question very well, you can be able to answer this, please. Um, I didn't want this um, video to be more than six minutes, but it's already more than six minutes. So pardon me. Um, yeah, if you have any question, please meet me in the comment section. Thank you.